Yeah, I'm doing my second degree now. I'm in Daystar University. I'm pursuing my second degree. I had my first degree in uh, Cairo University. Did my master's in uh, Australia. I also did my flying where I attend my CPL and PPL in Australia. You know, education has no end. Yes. I've received several awards uh, all over the world and uh, I got mentioned and awarded by Forbes. That is after they looked into my businesses and my progress for the last like uh, five, six years. Uh, I started my journey way back in, uh, in back then uh, at the age of 16 years old. And uh, at that time I was in Form 3. That's when I ventured into my first business. And all this was brought about by the challenge which I used to experience in the society at that time. I came from a humble background and started venturing into business at a very early age. To an extent, I started paying my school fees at the age of 16. And uh, I believe in development, innovation, and I innovated and progressed. And you know, with the combination of exposure, education, and my zeal and zest, that is why I believe I can be acknowledged by the few people in the society. I've been in leadership ever since uh, primary school. And as you all know that a leader is born and not made. And uh, it's been in me to create that example and show the right direction that people need. Uh, lately, for the last two, three elections, I've been watching keenly. And what I realize is that we don't get the substance that we give the goodwill for in our leadership. It has reached a point where we don't have political leaders, but we have dealers at the end of the day. So I come from a school of thought where I believe complaining or criticizing and maybe self-pity is not a fundamental solution to solving the problems in the society. And that's why I say that Stephen Burgo and the leader in the society, I want to take charge and go in there so that we can implement and change what needs to be done for the betterment of the Kenyan as large, at large. For me, I'm, I, I declared my, my candidature and I'll be going for presidency because I believe at the end of the day, change begins from the top. And uh, if you have the right president, who is me, I believe Kenya will change because I know what it means to suffer. I know what it means to lack food. I know what it means to lack health facilities. I've been there, I know. And I want to salvage Kenyans from these problems they're going through. Yes. You know, leadership and presidency for me is not about age. We have examples, the likes of Kabila, the president of Congo. He was president when he was 27 years old. The likes of Kim Jong, the president of North Korea. He started leadership at the age of 28 as well and uh, announced at 32 when he won. But at first he took over from his father. So leadership is not about age, it's about the spirit. And if it means us to amend the constitution for this to be done, we are ready to go a mile ahead to make sure that Kenya gets the quality right leadership. As you all know that quality is never a mistake, but a result of an intelligent effort. So I'm ready to sacrifice. And as Kenyans, as young people, and Kenya at large, we need to see that change. I'm not hungry for power, but I'm hungry for change. Yes.